hey y'all look i'm just leaving the dentist let me put my seat belt on my seat belt i'm just leaving the dentist y'all and i just wanted to update y'all like y'all care listen i'm on my way to get my prescription now she prescribed me some amoxicillin Look, y'all. Y'all know I told y'all I don't have a grill back in the day. Okay, I had two open faces, a teardrop, and I had a smiley face, and the smiley face had two diamonds in it for the eyes. Okay, the dentist who did my teeth was Dr. Jaffe. Man, I had them for a long time. I'm talking about years upon years, y'all. I don't had them like when I was in my teens on up to my late 20s so i had them um, years over 10 plus years um i got them removed but y'all my teeth messed up and the dentist was like i heard a lot <coughs> about you know people that get them up at the top and get them they want pull outs and then they was cement and then you know how they put the stuff on there and cement them and put them in they work permanently the one they coming out of nothing so you eat with them and all that you don't pull them out of none of that man my teeth in the back up in the back part that start breaking and chipping thank you that start breaking and chipping y'all so she like <laughs> have you decided on what you're gonna do about them because last time you was here we talked about, um, y'all, my camera shaking because I'm going over a little rocky road. We talked about um, root canals and all that stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, cool, just pull them. And then she was like, well, Miss Pierce, we don't want to pull them because we need a plan because that's in the front of your mouth. I'm like, I don't give a damn. And that's how I'm talking to her. I'm like, I don't give a damn. That at least we know they got pulled out. They ain't getting knocked out. And she started laughing. I was dead for real. And I'm like, because I can't have my teeth, you know, uh, breaking, uh, you know what I'm saying, in more pain than what I have periodically because it ain't good for your heart and stuff. So she brought me a prescription for some muscle ceiling. I'm finna get ready to go get that now because y'all know the holidays coming up. People going to close early tomorrow. And all that old other stuff. Come on, I'm going around this bush, y'all. And, um, them two little kids right there don't need to be right there by themselves. Y'all, some two little boys right there. They real little, like they about five. I got my uh, prescription. I'm finna go take care of because y'all, like I said, y'all know they close early tomorrow for the holidays and stuff. And I want to have my medication and all this stuff. You know, cause Saturday and Sunday and stuff, they don't be open and all that stuff like this. So I'm running on up here and get them. But y'all, I'm just saying, oh, look, y'all just shaking a little bit. Just look, if y'all come on my video and y'all see I ain't got none in the front, y'all don't know why. I just went on ahead and got them pulled out. Pierce, you don't want to just be without your front teeth. I said, man, hey, if I'm around somebody who genuinely love me and they got a problem with me not having no teeth in the front of all that, then I don't need to be around. They fucked up. They messed up, y'all. They messed up. And I ain't got no um money like that to be sitting there, you know, chalking out 40, 50,000 to get, you know what I'm saying? The good, good. So if y'all come on my video and I be like, <laughs> we back with that other bit and y'all don't see that. Don't say that because I done already told y'all in the video. They gone. They G-O-N-E. Which she ain't going to do. I got appointment too to come back on the 10th. Oh, it's hot in here. Let me turn the heat out. I got appointment to come back on the 10th, y'all, at um 2 o'clock. For them to do a filling in the back. Back down. Right down. Right down. Cause food be getting caught up in the in that little part right there sometimes. And I be flossing it. And she said, yeah, that part of that tooth right down that got the little air pocket in it. It ain't bad, but if I don't take care of that right now, it's going to get bad. So, we're going to take care of that on the 10th. So, y'all. 
I'm going to go on me and Joe going to do y'all a um, new new. But I might have to start doing them new news, you know, with a little bit more healthier stuff. But, y'all, we do them new news. I don't ever eat that stuff, but I eat it. But I don't, you know, eat it as much as y'all think I would eat it. That's really when I open that stuff and I tell Joe to break me off a piece. He break me off a piece. He break off a piece. When we end that video, y'all, I got a basket in my kitchen. I can show y'all with all that new, new stuff in there. And I take and I give some to my family members. I take and give some to my neighbors. You know, stuff like that. Put it in the bag and just take it on over there to my neighbor. And they eat it. Because I can't have it like that. Now, y'all, I know my limit and I know how my, my choppers work. But, y'all, I just want y'all just to know my dental issues. Okay? But we going to get it together. And if I get a partial or whatever... Why y'all standing in front of the store like that? Oh, my God. Y'all, if I get a partial or whatever, y'all will see because they'll be, I'll be like this. I keep smiling. I smile anyway with a broke chip, everything, because I love me, and it is what it is. I mean, you know, I understand she don't want to pull them, but she going to pull them. Because once I get through saying what I'm going to say and how I'm going to say it, and, and then, you know what I'm saying, put in a little sob story and stuff. She's going to snatch them on now, and then I won't have to worry about getting them snatched out. Then I just worry about having to get them fitted. Because I don't want to have to pay nobody else that they ain't going to snatch them out. Well, she snatch them out on a sliding fee scale. So I don't know the person they sending me to the referral to is going to snatch them out on the sliding fee scale. So I'd rather for her to snatch them out, and then I just go for them to do the fit and then all the other stuff. So, y'all, I'm finna go on on up here. I'm up here by the, um, what they did, um, take our funeral and stuff at Rest in Peace Take Off. Yeah, that's a dirty summer bitch. Dirty who did that man like that. But everybody gonna, everybody gonna count for that wrongdoing, baby. You best believe that. You best believe it. They doing some discretion. But, hey, y'all, I ain't gonna hold y'all. But, like I always tell y'all in the meantime, and in between time, y'all, love on somebody. Love on somebody. Love on somebody, and love on somebody, y'all.